gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter got it everyone or is it good night good evening or good afternoon i don't know when you're watching this video so salutations to you all happy 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 sunday and welcome to housewives of atlanta and Mary to medicine marathon over here on my channel yes you know it's sunday and you know they coming on around eight and nine o'clock here in atlanta ga where i reside in decatur where it is great time yes we're gonna be talking about housewives of atlanta and married to medicine all day long so sit back relax catch a few of my videos and get ready for the explosive Real Housewives of Atlanta coming on, followed by Merit to Medicine. Yes, I'm giving it to you in my spin, my opinions only, okay? Then I ask you all to get in those comments and tell me what y'all thought about the subject subject matter that we were discussing between the two shows. But right now, we're going to be going over to Celebrity Insider. We have Ricky Mathers already out there turning out more stories for us to take part. This time it's all about Nene and her being the queen bee of Real Housewives of Atlanta, the self-proclaimed head, head bitch in charge, HBIC guys, HBIC for the OG on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, the article title reads, Nene Leak says Housewives is her baby and she would like to see it stick out around for a while. Let me go reverse that. And she would like to see it stick around for as long as possible. Okay. And if I started as an OG and I was the only one still here, not counting the addition add-ons, but the first uh, set of women that were chosen for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And she's still around. Come on, guys. Let's go on and give her that crown. Real OG Housewives of Atlanta. Queen, okay, yeah, she's like um the queen over there, Miss Queen Elizabeth over there ruling the palace over in Britain. She ain't gonna ever die. She ain't gonna never die, huh? She ain't gonna never die. I swear she's a clone. I swear she's a clone over there. But anyway, moving back over here in North America, we got Nene Leakes, the self-proclaimed queen of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. As the head bitch in charge, okay? That's going to be plenty of time, plenty of room for everybody else to come on and to see her. But right now, Nene said, ah, uh, bow down, itches, bow down, okay? But anyway, let's go on and get into that article. It said, when you think about the queen of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, most would agree that although Candy Burris has been the only one to be on every season, Nene Leak still holds the crown. All right. She the OG. She's supposed to. She's supposed to hold that crown. She had to take a few time, few uh, years off or a few seasons off. I understand. Sometimes you got to do that. to try to make other revenues, try to make other business contacts. And you can't do both of them at the same time. And she probably was leveraging for more money. And they didn't want to give it to her at the time. But they, you know, they know who she is. She's a main player. And they're going to try to pay her to keep her. And I understand that's a business move. Smart business move because she still ain't getting what she's probably deemed to earn. They still paying her pennies on the dollar because they getting the real money the producers the owner of the show yes Nene need to slide off the show and try to be a writer uh, uh you know or a mover and shaker behind the scenes and have her name on that executive producer slash andy cohen type style then she really be hitting hard but we know how that goes we know how that goes all right but going back to the article it says the bravo Le the bravo liberty Recent open up on why she decided to return to the franchise after seemingly saying bye forever. Yeah, that's what she wanted. Thought she was gonna have a claim to fame in the acting field on Glee and all this other stuff, as far as sitcoms and residual incomes. You know when they do that uh, in syndication. See, syndication is the keys to the money, money, money. The money always being there, especially when they renew these new. Um, Shows a network coming on and they want to pick up your show that you are a part of. Honey, that's money in the bank. Just like retirement check. It come every month. <laughs> or the pension check. It come every month, honey. And you don't have to do no work. You just watch yourself and replay, replay, replay. Okay, that's what they call signification. Get into it. Okay, but going on back, it says the end of season 11 ended with Nene ending her years. Long friendship with Cynthia Bailey after the model and Candy Burris invited 
continue more to her party. Although rumors have run rampant that Leaks was either A, suspended for her behavior during Closet Gate, and that's my opinion, solely my opinion, but that's what I believe. She got tapped on her hands, and instead of her going to jail or facing some criminal litigation, she probably had to say, okay, take some of my money, but don't 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 kick me off the show. I need this. I need this. Okay, that's behind the scenes, but off camera, begging. All right. But anyway, or it was part B, refusing to film due to the return of Mrs. Daly. The Broadway actress is denying both claims. Of course, she's gonna deny. That's good. You have to. Can't let everybody know your hand. Sometimes you have to plead the fifth. Deny, deny, deny. Okay, it ain't everybody's business. Even though they think it's their business, it's not our business. But if they leak it to the press, then you know. If it's anything about my women on the Real Housewives of Atlanta or the Married to Medicine, Married to Medicine women, I'm going to be speaking on it. I'm going to speak my mind all day, every day. Okay, whether you like it or not, it's my opinion. And I give you a comment section now and now for you to throw out how you feel about the subject matter. Okay, so we both win. It's a win-win situation. And then by us keeping their names in our, their names in our mouths, it's keeping them relevant out there. Okay, only the, only the deep people that understand business understand that. Okay, but anyway, moving back to the article, it says viewers won't see leaks until episode three due to contract negotiations. The really <coughs> the reality star spoke to Entertainment Tonight to re to reveal why she decided to come back. Nene, stop faking the phone, baby. If you're gonna be an OG, clock your tea all day, every day. You needed the money. Okay, ain't nobody out here doing YouTube as a YouTube creator. Saying they are uh, doing it because they think it's a hobby. They like doing it. It's this, that, and the third. No, they're doing it for the money, first and foremost. Don't let the people fool you, honey. I try to give you the best tea I can. All right? And I tell you, if I ain't making no money, I ain't on YouTube. <laughs> That's just it. It's supplemental income for me. And then it is a way of doing self-therapy. -ther you know, if you want to talk to somebody about issues, this, that, and the third, you want to, you know, put your life out there like that, it's you. Okay, go ahead, do you. But me, it's about making that supplemental income and doing what I got to do to make ends meet. Okay, baby? Okay. Anyway, uh, going back to the article, it said, this is my baby. I feel like I birthed this baby and I need to see it all the way through. The room. That's right, Nene. She said from season one to when they clock down and count down and say we're ending the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. Okay. And I hope that another day never come. I hope it don't. Okay. Because I want my extra income just like Nene want her primary income. All right. But anyway, going back to the article, it says there are times when I get frustrated with it and I want to give the baby up for adoption. Okay, that's what she's saying. Go on out there, y'all go. And it says, as for why she started filming so late, Nene explains, after talking to my family, talking to my friends, and my team, you know, they encouraged me to go pick my baby up and rock my baby. So, Housewives of Atlanta is my baby. And I really do want to see it stay around for 10, 15, 20 years if we can. And I'm right there with you, Nene. I sure do want y'all to stay around because I do have viewers that come in and like my spin on how I put it down and my opinions and, and, and my expert uh, opinions on experiences that I went through that I can certainly identify the things that you do go through and some of these women go through on the show. Okay, it it's all about experience and how you deal with it and how you go forward in your life. Okay, but Nene, come on, baby. You ain't talk to your team. You ain't talk to your family. You ain't talk to nobody but your bank account. Okay, you see it dwindling, 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 and on a little revenue from your side projects or bringing it uh, uh, slowly up. But you know that cash in check with that real house of wise of Atlanta deposit. Ooh, it makes it look good. It makes you be able to afford other new ventures out there. So, baby, you can't give it up. Hell, it's, it, like you said, it's your baby. you self-proclaiming it. But, however, it's your main source of income. So, be for real with it. Girl, be for real with it, honey. Keep uh, bringing up salacious stories. Keep putting out those salacious interviews. And get your money, okay? Don't say everybody else wanted me to do it. Stand in your shit, Nene. Say, that's what I'm going to do. I am my brand. I bring a lot to the house, not the table, to the house is where I'm going with it. Forget the damn table. We're talking about the house, the garage, the rooms in the house, and everything in between. 
Okay, you bring it. Okay, and that's all you got to know that you self-employed and this is your brand. This is how you make your money. And this is how you're going to continue to make your money until either the Lord call you home or your voice get taken away for some reason. Because then, you know, <laughs> I don't know what you can do, but get on disability, uh, get, get on disability and draw your check. But still, it's a check out there. It's a check with your name on it because hopefully you're paying your taxes and you're on uh, your, what do you call it? your taxes for social security so you can get that check too when you retire not just your pension checks that you don't uh, put away for yourself and all that and your businesses still bringing in money but your social security Nina, you need that so you may not be checking that out as well honey pay them taxes honey so you can get your social security money all right we're going back to the article it says while speaking with kevin frazier uh, who asked if Kenya had anything to do with her decision to delay. She said that she wouldn't give her that much credit. Okay? And I'm with you, Nene. Don't let nobody else say why you can't do something. Your actions speak louder than your words. You know you allegedly, you know, had that closet gate situation going on. And it didn't fare too well. And people behind the scenes wanted you to pay dearly for it. Okay, they got you in the pockets. That's the only way they can hit you and hurt you is in your money, in your purse, in your bank account. So they got what they needed to get you set out, but now you up for the pitch again. You playing in the game. You're not sidelining anymore. You're not riding the bench. So baby, go on, stay in that game and make your dollars. Not your coins, your dollars. All right. Uh, going back to the article, it said she also cemented her spot as queen. These girls to me all seem to want to be the queen or the one that everybody thinks of when they say housewives. Okay. I don't think that's that's possible. I think there's one queen and there's a lot of princesses. Well, oh, hey, Nene, sweet. She still put them on the royal court. She called them princesses. And I really feel that, that it, she's the oldest um, in age, I want to say. Not, you know, the oldest. And she also really is the oldest on the show as well. So I'm like, pay homage to her. Give her what she thinks she needs because it is going to come a time when Nene going to have to sit her ass down, okay? And and, and the successors are going to have to reign. I don't know if it's going to be Candy Burris. I don't know if it's going to be Kenya Moore. But I'm telling you, Kenya Moore is one that moves and talks and tells all the time. Candy Burris moves in silence, okay? She like, I'm going to let my many adventures speak for himself and then speaks for themselves and then you all can decide who really is making the moves out here and who really is making the most on the show because i ain't gonna tell you ain't your business you know what i'm saying so i got I, i'm down with candy when it comes to that you don't know what's going on in her life until she bring it out on front street it's already cemented the deal is sealed and it's going on <laughs> I'm saying so. I don't know, y'all. Quick to say, Kenya Moore, but Queen Moore be telling her business all out there for everybody. Candy be sliding in the zone and, you know, running that marathon before you know it. She be done ran that damn race and won. Okay. But that's all I got for this video that Celebrity Insider provided me with. Uh, Ricky Mathis over there doing her thing, cranking out them stories, putting them on social media so we can partake of them and put our spin on it. I'm thankful. Yes, I am. Because without them, the bigger vloggers, I wouldn't have nothing to talk about. Because I tell you, I don't go out there like the paparazzi and, and be watching uh, these celebrities or these reality star celebrities on every move they make from when they come out their house to when they drive down the street or go follow them to see what shopping mall they going to or what friend's house they going to. You know what I'm saying? Most of their friends probably are in the industry as well and they're in a gated community. So you ain't going to get too far by trying to follow them to see who they going to hang out with unless it's at a public restaurant. You get what I'm saying? But you ain't going to get close to them once they get into that restaurant unless they know you or unless you want to super chat them <laughs> what they do on so, uh, YouTube, but you know, you want to really pay them homage and bow down at their feet. Now, who really want to do that? Okay, then they don't really want to be bothered with you because they trying to have space. But like I said, anybody in the entertainment field that's really popping out there and everybody know their name, you can forget about uh, a nominee. What's that nom Autonomy. You can forget about it. You're in a fishbowl that you put yourself in and you're going to have to uh, be amongst the ones that have to like go out in costume or be disguised or you're going to have to go out there and know you're going to have to be uh, bar uh, bombarded with, uh, I don't like to say fans or, or I like to say viewers that partake in like your show or like you on what are, uh, whatever entity you're on as far as the um, industry, entertainment industry. 
But, you know, you don't have your peace no more. You don't have your privacy no more. That's something you signed up with when you came and got them big checks and you start getting well known out there. Uh, no, you, you, you just, I'm sorry, it comes with the territory. You got to sign autographs. You're going to have to um, take pictures on social media with these folks uh, that seem like they love you and you, they call you their number one fan and this, that, and the third. This is what you signed up for, so you're going to have to pay the toll, okay? You got to pay to play. You got to pay to play. But that's all I have for this video. Y'all get down in them comments. Tell me what y'all thought about it. And remember, don't hesitate. Don't wait. Be right there with me watching The Real Housewives of Atlanta. If you stay in Georgia or you're on the Eastern Standard Time Zone, it comes on at 8 o'clock. Be sharp, okay? Be sharp. Hell, get down 10 minutes before time, okay? And, and catch a little preview of the previous episode. So you can just run right on in there and take your notes. If you're a YouTube creator contenter and you follow the shows and you want to get your little notes together, go on and get ready, honey. Go on and get ready. Be on time. Be on time. But that's all I got. I'll talk to you next video. Bye-bye.